Random Thoughts. This is Random Thoughts with your host, Andrew Pollock. Coming to you from Fresh Meadows, New York, this is the Random Thought Program. I am your host, Andrew Pollock. And first of all, I'd like to wish everybody a very happy Martin Luther King Day. Today is January 18th, 2016. And again, today we honor the life of Dr. King and what he tried to accomplish during the Civil Rights era and for a fact that we have been celebrating Martin Luther King Day for the past 23 years in this country considering that you know we officially decided to make it a federal holiday back in the 80's but all 50 states celebrated it back in 1993 so again today we have to thank Dr. King for giving most of the people a day off today. And uh, believe me, I'm working, but I love talking to you guys here on Spreaker and on YouTube. Now today, I'm doing something a bit different, and I'm hoping I'm going to make this regularly part of the podcast, is I'm using Audacity to record this and edit the podcast. Now, I want to complain about Spreaker's equipment and, you know... Uh, I love Spreaker. I love the people there for letting me do this. But I want to give one complaint out is that um, the microphone stinks. It just does. It just really, really does. And with Audacity, the audio comes out very clear. It's stereo. It's clear. And I've played it back a bunch of times. And the thing is, you know, can Spreaker make good equipment to, you know, work on my computer goodness sakes but um yeah this is a whole lot easier to edit this podcast with the intro and the outro um the good news is i got rid of that creepy music so you won't be able to hear that anymore but it'll be songs that i do close this show out with now i can choose them because my ipod's acting up when it comes to selecting songs but you know other than that, I love using Audacity. It is a very great tool to record anything on in general. Alright, so uh, first of all, I want to give a weather update for people listening outside of the New York area. How the weather is here, of course. Uh, boy, it is uh, another story of how this crazy winter that we're having. And uh, it's windy today. I can hear the wind here in the studio. Uh, I can hear it from the window, but uh, thank goodness I have noise-canceling headphones with the microphone here. Otherwise, it would just be bad. But, uh, wind chill is making it feel terrible. And tonight, we're supposed to have wind chills in the single digits. And they're, now they're saying we're getting a possible legit snowstorm this weekend here in New York City with 5 to 8 inches. Now, last night we had a coating here with the grass and the cars, but the roads really didn't get affected that much in New York City, but there was a very bad accident up on the Bronx River Parkway this morning. And, uh, you know, if 
you're driving out in the cold, just be careful. You know, I mean, you don't know where the black guys could be. But other than that, uh, when I do random thoughts again on Friday, I'll give you guys an accurate weather update on what the situation's going to look like. Because by then, they're saying, they're saying Friday night into Saturday, so. Uh, other than that, I got to get into this whole story of how Meat Mill is now battle is now, I guess you could say, feuding with 50 Cent. And I'll get into that. And I just want to quickly give my review of NFL Divisional Weekend. So, first up on the agenda will be the new story of Meat Mill never keeping his mouth shut. Recently, Meat Mill just dropped a four-track EP and one of the tracks basically dissed 50 Cent. The track was called Gave Him Hope. Now, if you want to hear the lyrics of the diss, because it's explicit and I can't say it, uh, go check out 50 Cent's Instagram, because what, uh, what happened is, uh, I'll, I'll give the story, you see, Rick Ross claims that, sorry, I'm, I'm going to say it right, because my computer is like, refreshing this information that I have, alright, there we go, thank you computer. The Mick Ross's groundkeeper claims that he told police that he was kidnapped by Rick Ross, and then a few months later, 50 Cent posted a picture with the same groundskeeper at a party, and uh, basically, Meek Mill just decided to open his big mouth about it, and what happened was. Believe me, this is just embarrassing to even talk about as it is. Is that Meek never knows when to keep his mouth shut? That's the embarrassing part. Now, I'll give you examples. Meek wanted to battle rap Cassidy back in 2013. Then it became a feud. Cassidy said he wasn't going to diss Meat Mill anymore. Meat Mill said he wasn't going to diss Cassidy anymore. But, uh, boy. <sighs> Meat Mill didn't keep his mouth shut on that. But the worst part Meat Mill didn't keep his mouth shut about was... Drake's Ghost Rider. Yeah. Meat Mill claimed last summer... That Drake didn't doesn't not write his own songs and that Meat Mill claims that the verse on Rico was a ghostwriter and Meat Mill also claimed that Know Yourself on Drake's If You're Reading This It's Too Lake was also ghostwritten and it became a whole feud and a lot of people thought Meat Mill's career was over by then but then Meat Mill decides to drop this four track EP leading up to his Longly anticipated Dream Chasers for a mixtape. And what's crazy about this is Meat Mill opens his big mouth again, making 50 Cent annoyed, and making 50 Cent post these funny, funny Meat Mill memes on his Instagram page, including the video of the verse that Meat Mill dissed him with. And what's funny about the video is. It's this stupid... Oh, goodness sakes. I'm, I'm trying to mute it right now as I'm talking to you guys because this is hilarious. This video is basically... You know, showing me... You know, looking dumb and... Looking stupid. And the thing is... He's looking stupid. And 50 Cent's all trying to put, side punch him in the back of the head. It's hilarious. Here it comes! Damn! <laughs> no, seriously, I'm watching the video right now on Instagram as I'm recording this, so believe me, it's it's hilarious as it is. And um this other video that um fifty posted, um he reposted it from some other account and um it shows 
meat mill, boxing, and it shows him trying to punch 50 Cent, but he's also trying to punch Drake at the same time. <laughs> it's hilarious. But these other memes that Vinny got, and, and this is hilarious. This is hilarious stuff. Um, there's one meme that shows him looking like his girlfriend, Nicki Minaj, which she is a household name. Uh, 50 Cent's also a household name, by the way. And another household name, The Weeknd. And it's now The Meekend. Parental advisory. The don't like... I can't even pronounce this word. It's uh, with a C, but I can not even pronounce it. But, uh, boy. Today, um, he posted this interesting photo that I don't find funny. That, uh, Drake, it's a meme. And it says, if he dies, he dies. And Nikki is, you know, photoshopped to be Rocky. And me is supposed to be Apollo Creed. And Drake is supposed to be Ivan Drago from Rocky. How crazy is that? Yeah, but, um... Fiddy's currently working on a mixtape to the sequel, Kanan, called Kanan Reloaded, and Fiddy's claiming that he will... He will diss Meat Mill on it. So, uh, boy. Uh, again... The problem is, if you mess with 50 Cent, bad things can happen to you because him and Ja Rule had a beef a long time ago and it did not end well for Ja Rule. Ja Rule has not been the same since 50 Cent won the battle back in 03 with the whole back down this. But I'm telling you, this is, um, this is going to be a top story of 2016. Meek Mill never keeping his mouth shut. Seriously, Meek, just shut up already. Please, no one wants to hear you diss anybody anymore. You've already dissed Cassidy. You've already dissed Drake. Why do you really need to diss 50 Cent? Seriously. Seriously, just shut up, Meek. Shut up. It's so annoying. Ugh, boy. But, uh, also, Meat Mill also dissed Drake again, and today Drake was supposed to release another diss, but from my understanding and the rumors going around online is that Drake's probably going to release the track on his OVO SoundCloud page, or the next time he's on Beats 1 Radio, he'll premiere the track, and so far... Already a big story of 2016 on the plate right here. I'm hoping I'll give you guys an update on Friday because this is going to be fun to keep an eye on. I mean, it should be. Alrighty. Now that that part has been taken care of, I want to quickly talk about NFL Divisional Weekend. My quick review of it. I really thought it was an okay weekend. It wasn't great, but it was okay. Now... First of all, the only game that I really enjoyed out of it was, of course, Packers versus Cardinals, because I'll give you a story about the Saturday games first. See, on Saturday, I went out to this diner in Long Island, and I had to go to a friend's house, so I couldn't catch the end of the pack of the Patriot Chief game until I got to his house. And, um, yeah, I did see New England win the game, which annoyed me, but... I was able to catch the end of the Packer Cornwall game on the radio, and I was stunned to even hear about Aaron Rodgers' um, Hail Mary throws, and of course, Fitzgerald going into the end zone to win the game, and, you know, that was a good, that was a great game. That's going to be the game of the weekend, and if you go on my YouTube page, which is Andrew Sports Fan with Sport with the Spaces, you can see the videos on my sports playlist because the Aaron Rodgers Hail Mary passes are going to be something that we will remember for a very, very long time. No question. But the 
games on Sunday. Uh, I enjoyed the Bronco Steelers game because I went out to to a restaurant on Sunday to watch it. But um, I was at home watching the first half of the Panther Seahawk game. It became thirty one nothing Panthers, but I was scoreboard watching it on my iPod. So um, yeah. Other than that, uh, I'm looking forward to conference the conference finals coming up. This weekend on Sunday, you got in the AFC the Broncos versus Patriots, where Peyton Manning will be facing Tom Brady for the fifth time in the playoffs, the overall 17th time. But, nevertheless, to say that should be another interesting game to keep an eye on. That could possibly be Peyton Manning's last game if he loses, but, ugh, boy. Ugh. NFC. You got the Panthers playing the Cardinals. That should be fun. Both conferences have their top seats playing to go to the Super Bowl. So that should be an interest to keep an eye on. But other than that, you know, divisional weekend was okay. I mean, nothing really to talk about besides, you know, the... Packer versus Cornell game, but um, there's also controversies going around with the coin flip where I forgot what game it was, but <sighs> boy. Today on uh, Mike Francesa's show, because I just heard it right before I recorded this, some guy wanted um, to get rid of the coin flip. He called in the Francesa show today, and what happened was um, he wanted the decision to be done on a on a track run. I'm like, are you crazy? Nobody does that in the NFL. <laughs> yeah. So um, I could really care less about this whole coin flip debate. It really doesn't bother me that much. I mean, if it involved the Giants, then I'd be annoyed. But um, you know, uh, other than that, uh. The next time I record again will be on Friday, and uh, hopefully I will give you an update on the snowstorm possibly coming to New York City. I'll give you an update if there is one on the whole Meat Mill 50 Cent battle, possibly even an update regarding Meat Mill and Drake if something does happen, and of course, previewing, previewing both. Cardinals versus Panthers and the Patriots and the Broncos. So, I end the show on that note. Thank you for listening. My email is andrew718pollock at gmail.com. You can follow me on social media at andrewsportsfan. My Tumblr blog, which is Tumblr.com slash Andrew Sports Fan. Facebook page. Remember to space out the Andrew Sports Fan. Same thing on YouTube. Before I uh, end, the ending song today for the podcast will be, of course, David Bowie. Because I didn't get to do it last week. It's been a whole week since he passed away. And I want to play my favorite David Bowie song of all time, which is Young Americans. So. Uh, yeah, should be a fun way to close out the podcast today. So, until Friday, goodbye. Just behind the bridge, you left.
America Standing right through the pit 